Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. So we're just about a week away from Christmas, and I hope that your home is starting to get filled with all those good smells of baking, because that will get you in the mood for today's scripture verse. Because we're going to talk about bread. You know, nice, squishy bread that has lots of yeast in it and tastes delicious. That's what we're talking about today because Jesus and his disciples had just gone across on a journey and they had no bread with them. And Jesus says this to them. We're in Matthew chapter 16. And then in verse 6, Jesus says, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And so the first thing that the disciples start doing is going, did you bring the bread? No, I didn't bring any bread. Who brought the bread? Does, does Peter have the bread? No, he doesn't have the bread. How about Judas? Did Judas bring bread? No, they didn't bring bread. And Jesus overhears this conversation about bread and the people wondering, where's the bread? And he says, you have such little faith. Don't you remember that I fed 5,000 people with five loaves? Or don't you remember that I fed 4,000 people with seven loaves? And after all of this, there was still leftover bread. I'm not talking about bread, idiots. He says here, he didn't call them idiots. Jesus is too nice for that. He says here, how is it that you fail to understand that I did not speak about bread? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then in verse 12, it says, Then they understood that he did not tell them to be aware of the leaven of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You see, leaven works its way through bread and it affects the whole structure of the bread. Just like bad teaching works its way into a life, works its way into someone's faith, and it can corrupt that life and it can corrupt that faith. The legalism and the false teaching and the wrong ideas of the Pharisees and the Sadducees had the threat of ruining their faith, of getting them off course. So Jesus says, beware of that teaching. So how does it apply to us today? Well, obviously, life is more than about what you're just consuming. There's the spiritual reality, and Jesus wants his people to be careful about what they're consuming. So as we move into the new year, let me encourage you to get some really good teaching in your life. Of course, listening to Word for the Day, great way to do that. Coming to church and being a part of the worship services and hearing the teaching of God's Word, a great way to do that. And Calvary also has a gift for everyone who participates in our campuses, and that is a subscription to Right Now Media. So let me encourage you, go online, go onto our website, Check out the Right Now Media subscription and get yourself an account. And then you can get some of the best teaching in the world delivered right to your computer or right to your TV. Beware of bad teaching. Get the good stuff. Have a wonderful Christmas, Calvary, and we will see you next time.